this uh, list of headphones will now modules. be recorded. Um, and also the uh, types of administrators and all right. So let's see uh, something called as uh, uh, data models today. So data models are um, uh, the XMLs, which houses the employee, uh, different employee data in uh, in success factors, uh, right? So data models are uh, uh, in plain terms, they are they are the XML files which is stored in uh, provisioning. Okay. Um, of course, the basic data models are always uploaded in uh, provisioning by uh, success factors. You just need to, uh, just in case, let's say, if you want to add, uh, um, a, if you want to change a view accesses into edit and edit access into view, then you you will you can go and uh, do it in the XMLs. But other than that. Uh, you are not expected to, to change uh, any of that because those are standard fields and uh, uh, every time the new field is added that will automatically get into your uh, uh, XMLs. Okay. Uh, I think Vimala seems to have some connection issue. She left. Let's just wait uh, for a minute. Uh, no, Ajay, log from uh, other device. Oh, oh, okay, 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 cool, yeah. okay, cool, cool, yeah. So, so uh, as we discussed, uh, the data models. So these are, uh, you know, the XMLs which define the employee data. Uh, these are the placeholders for the employee data in uh, success factors. And uh, these, you can expect these kind of data model related questions in your uh, you know, certification or uh, during the interviews as well. Uh, right, so uh, did you uh, guys heard about uh, these data models either in success factors or any other tool? So if so, uh, what is the information you have on the data models? Mm. I just know that uh, there is uh, something called like statistical data modeling and so, but I don't know. Um, okay, in... okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the basic fundamental is is that I mean, you know, statistical uh, data models. Um, that that data model also is some form of uh, it binds some form of data and how the data is designed and how the data can be uh, you know consumed that's what is there in, in in even that data model as well okay. right so ajay any any info about data models you heard somewhere um data models like for me, like we used to do it for projects, we used to create a data model. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there, I mean, in, gen in general, we used to create it, but here the data models are provided by the, uh, you know, by success factors themselves. It's like default templates. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so basic thing is, the data models are uh, XML files. That's what uh, the basic first thought you should uh, get it when somebody talks about uh, the uh, data models. So we can also customize it, right? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, customize it in that sense. You can just go to the data model uh, and change the 
a data model edit view accesses or uh, you know the size of uh, uh, size of the field that can be uh, increased or uh, decreased yeah that kind of changes you can do but you cannot add more data models into the system or you cannot delete data models existing data models so it's like you're telling like it could be like a ppt screen where i mean ppt template mm, a, a ppt of a template with, with, with all those uh, you know default items in it oh uh, yes 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 it's an yeah it's an xml template yeah with all the uh, list of uh, available uh, data fields in uh, employee central that is there in uh, in these uh, data models you got it right so let's see what are the uh, list of uh, data models what we have and this is very very important uh, right so the first data model what generally we talk about is succession data model see you don't need to worry about uh, you know uh, how to define the data models nobody will ask that okay uh, the data models any changes has to be done in your um, uh, xmls only that to in provisioning right so but it is very important for you to understand what is there in uh, succession data model okay uh, any guesses what is there in succession data model what kind of uh, data is there in succession data model mm, not sure Su okay succession data model has employee records so employee data which means employment and personal information right succession data model has employee records which means employment and personal information so uh, can you give me examples of what uh, what may be the personal employment information um candidates uh, name and uh, address email id phone number uh, that will be in uh, uh, you know employee information okay so uh, yeah some, some of some of them are correct employment so this is yeah. your role your designation uh, and all this stuff right so that is employee employment information and personal information could be personal information is your date of birth uh, yeah. you know your uh, uh, like aadhar card in india or an ssn in the us in your respect locations the the number what uh, you know equivalent of your pan card uh, here that can be marital status uh, can be okay so all this can be uh, our personal information so we can see what a personal information list of personal information available by going to uh, employees profile right so Uh, employment information right because we spoke about succession model, model data model is nothing but employment and personal information so uh, employment you can see the employment details like your hire date first date work seniority start date previous employment uh, eligibility for stock
right? So original start date is much more uh, here, right? So the job information, uh, address information, all this comes under the uh, employment uh, info. So the personal information now. So personal information you can just uh, see here. You know, first name, last name, you know, uh, display name, title, uh, marital status, gender, date of birth, nationality, a preferred language and all this stuff. So these are your, uh, you know, personal information. Right, so this data actually is stored in uh, the XMLs, the data models. The shell, like the first name, uh, last name, what what is the number of alphabets allowed here, the length of the string, uh, everything is, uh, you know, allowed here. Now, everything is written in the data models. Right, that's about the succession data model. Second one is uh, country specific succession data model. Okay, can you guess what this uh, can be, uh, the data model? Maybe it's like based on the country employment structure may change. Yeah, so country specific, um, you know, succession data model that means uh, employee record. So when you go back to the screen uh, profile just click on the uh, employment information you have uh, you know your uh, eligibility for stock each and every country uh, the company in the respective countries you may have a uh, stocks or you may not have uh, stocks to depending on the uh, country right so and also some countries may give, uh, you know, benefits, some countries may say, uh, no benefits are outsourced. So you just have to uh, take it there. And same with, uh, you know, job information. Your designation may be different. We, in uh, in India, I mean, we have uh, executives like at the, at the starting level, but like, of course, in, you know, in the US, UK or uh, uh, Europe, I mean, executives are, are very senior levels very senior levels so every country uh, or every location uh, have their own way of representing data right so that country specific values uh, you know is stored in uh, you know the country specific succession data model the difference between the countries like let's say designation uh, of an employee in different countries are uh, you know represented differently so those different representations are stored in the respective country location of the country specific succession data model okay Right, same. Same goes with the personal information also. Uh, in some countries, I mean, even showing the marital status or uh, gender or date of birth itself is, you know, even for the admins is a crime. So, I mean, they may, uh, you know, withheld that uh, information. So all that is managed in the country specific columns of uh, the data models, uh, succession data model. Okay, country specific succession data model.
the next one is corporate corporate data model so while succession data model has employee records employment and pers personal information so uh, what can you uh, say what what does corporate data model have that the hierarchy or uh, okay yeah good uh, okay yeah hierarchy is yes. what else corporate data maybe, model the name itself sound it's like uh maybe it's like based on what type of company i mean like what type of business they do in terms of the job structure i mean the flow i'm, not, I'm putting the exact word actually yeah 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 job structures right organization uh the org structure that's right So the word corporate itself suggests that this data model has organization organization pay and job structures corporate data model has organization pay and job structures right so this is what uh, organization pain job structures is the data which is stored in corporate data model now organization what what kind of organization data you may have uh, it's like number of employees um, it's like it's all is it about the numbers uh, no no so organization is your what you said earlier the org structure what all do you have in org structure your legal it's entity like, company <laughs> department division business unit uh, right uh, location cost center these are in your organization right the general org structure is that right so for example you see here you know the location of uh, the business unit uh, department all this are your uh, organization uh, objectives even if you go with um, i'm just trying to show you the best example yeah you see here organization company business unit division department time zone cost center right so all this are uh, all this data represent the uh, organization right so what about pay what do you say about pay maybe variable yeah. exactly so pay a pay can be your variable pay or your uh, fixed pay pay can be your uh, the pay structure what kind of pay structure is it monthly uh, half yearly uh, daily wages or per annum so all this can be uh, your uh, pay and the local currency so should the local currency details be in corporate data model or in country specific corporate data model where should that be uh, yes country specific. country specific yeah yeah so it it should be in country specific corporate data model the pay structure should be in country specific corporate data model right so the job structure so what is it, what is jobs what all you may have in job structure in job structure so like is it the job duties or like uh, i mean like is he a full time employee or right right 
is a full time employee or a people manager or an individual contributor all right so is it does this job um, uh, contains a multiple um, you know employments right so all this are uh, coming under uh, the job structures so country specific corporate data model country specific corporate data model uh, the same thing like the respective locations of the company of the same company is stored in corporate data model uh, country specific corporate data model uh, your pay which means your currency uh, every country to country it may differ right so some country may have half yearly because variable pay because of their labor laws okay uh, some companies may have uh, half year, uh, yearly some companies sales companies may have uh, you know um, monthly so these uh, kind of differentiations are given in uh, country specific corporate data model okay again job structures as well that can change from country to country and that's where you know that uh, respective information is loaded in country specific corporate data model right so these are the four major data models we have in success factors employee central right so if somebody asks you what are the data models in success factors you should say this succession data model country specific succession data model corporate data model and country specific corporate data model okay however there are few more uh data models as well along with this but they are not into employee data but they are into employee transactions you know employee workflows and all this stuff so major data models are this this four but in addition to this you have other data models something called as propagation rules data model event reasons derivatives data model workflow create your data model and of course this is not a, a data model but we just uh, talk about this when we talk about data models right so propagation rules uh, data model so what do you um, what comes into your mind when you hear about uh, this word called propagation in literal terms is it like something legal thing mm, no 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 oh uh, it's it's like information okay. it's information mm. right so propagation so what yeah, the general meaning of propagation is that to provide something to give something right so what the propagation does here is so it will help to create auto population of the records okay like for example uh, when we are applying for a job position uh, there is if we go to the location field there is list of locations where the job is available right yeah can you simulate what i'm what i'm what i'm trying to say so that 
when you click on the location object there are list of locations populated in in the in the uh, the recruitment portal so that is called propagation that work the background work is called propagation okay so propagation will allow us to select a data and then which in turn auto populates the other information so that we can go and click it so what happens with this propagation what is the advantage of this propagation so instead of you searching for the location i mean you are getting the list of locations and you are selecting it right so don't you think the data entry is uh, more efficient here you are not making any mistakes in searching spelling mistakes and uh, when you select from the list of available uh, stuff from I mean, uh, the data also will be accurate right location data it's like is it like auto population or auto population yes like for example if you click on a country it opens the list of countries right so that is propagation auto population if you click on a state the list of cities in the state it propagates that is again you know propagation okay right so <clears throat> so that is your propagation rules uh, data model okay okay the next one is event reason derivative data model so any idea what are the events in the system uh what are general events in this is general events in a in any hr system is it like mm -hmm. entry exit or those reason i mean yeah 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 you are you are very close you are very close vimla you had some point um no it's okay it's like is it like the period of employment and then like from the start date till the end date mm, that is some part of it some part of it and uh, the job progression as well like internally all the the complete okay 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 what is the job progression called job progression is like you know the like advancement i'm like particular advancement in his career like from the correct uh, so what the, is that process called what is that process called so like appraisal or something appraisal fine so we go through the process of appraisal and what happens uh, there will be a review uh, right it's like After the review uh, no, it, what is that promotion absolutely okay that is one yeah vimla tell me um, promotion no, I... is one event yeah. okay so the events in a uh, success factors are uh, you know the again this is this is very very important uh, right so the event in success factors i'll just write it here events in sf see okay so there are uh, please remember there are six events in uh, ec okay six events these are standard uh, events right so the first event is something called as hire right so hiring is an event no in in the system yeah you hire for 
different reasons right you hire for um, to replace an employee you hire for new projects you hire because uh, you have uh, uh, you're starting in a new location ramp up uh, you hire for ramp up plans yeah right you hire for uh, somebody quit uh, as a replacement right yeah so hire is an event okay hire is an event second is data what is a data data is nothing but data change so can you guys tell me when all the data changes in the system uh, when an employee moves from uh, department to other department excellent when uh, yeah and, so, uh, that okay department to department that is called as what is that the what is that moment called as uh, transfer yeah yeah transfer so somebody moves from department to department or location to location that is called as transfer so that is a big event in uh, uh, one of the important event in success factors right so tell me uh, again tell me when when does the data change in the system when all uh, promotion like when is designation changes um, fine yeah. yep promotion is there yes and pay structure changes okay so okay. now you are coming up with lot of uh, events actually so pay rate changes you said right mm -hmm. so that is an uh, event so what uh, uh, Ajay mentioned about promotion and then you mentioned uh, about it, right? So promotion can come in data. Sorry, uh, promotion can come in data because changes, right? Data changes, right? Yeah. And promotion can come in pay rate changes also. How? How it can come in pay rate changes? because um... the rate changes right when you are promoted by default i mean your rate changes right when the resolution changes the yeah changes. of course i mean there are very few companies which say okay we will keep promotions and salary hikes separate which means you may get promotions now and then salary hikes may be in march or the you know financial calendar whichever the company sets or the calendar year so those kind of rare cases are fine but the, the promotion can come in data as well as pay rate changes okay what other events do you uh, think we have one important uh, thing ajay mentioned in the beginning so related to that there is an event you said entry and exit right Entry we yeah. have covered already. Hire is there. Mm -hmm. What about uh, exit? Notice period and uh, no, no probation. So, yeah. so termination. Okay. Right. Entry yeah. and exit. Entry and exit is the entry is hire, exit is termination. Right. So you mm -hmm. have termination. Okay. What is the other other most important event? Everything. See, you name it, it will come in data because anything changes, and if it is not part of higher termination, pay rate changes, transfer, or the other one, then it comes under data. So tell me what other data, what are the events you you think of? Uh, maybe a probation or the confirmation of employment. Post uh, probation. Uh, that uh, that uh, will come in data. Okay. What is the most transactions done in HR system apart from this? Uh, is it the induction thing or something like whatever? 
No, no, that let's put it induction everything. Uh, let's put it under higher or uh, data data changes. Are you talking about the exit of an employee? Uh, no, no exit is covered already <laughs> exit is in termination. So what is that most? You know frequent activity uh, any employee at some point of time in a week or a month or uh, you know in a year sorry reporting uh, no no the reporting is uh, let's say it's in data change so if you have to go on vacation what do you do oh yeah leave yes so leave of absence right LOA yeah. leave of absence so please remember these six are the events you have in success factors employee central okay you cannot these are standard you cannot change this you cannot create any additional events in the standard functionality. Right? Higher data, data means data changes, termination, leave of absence, pay rate changes, pay rate, when all, okay, tell me when all can the pay rate change? One we discussed about promotion. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. if if the company decides to go for a specific variable pay and you know, fix because yeah company changes their variable uh, percentage some okay. company Let, let's say company changes the structure yeah. yes the, the it will change yes fine what else appraisal appraisal yeah we spoke about the hike yeah fine what else When the country changes. When the country changes, exactly. Yeah, good. When the country changes, your pay rate will change, right? And when the when the company goes for market correction. Yeah. Some companies may do a research on the existing salary data with market and they may feel you are paid low and then they may just go ahead and increase the salary right or the other flip side is they may decrease as well some <laughs> companies <laughs> right so yeah yeah what are what other what other um, things you you so related to uh, related to the during salary period only i heard there are some countries which specifics that the salary standards should be maintained by their um, uh, you know the country's, uh, uh, you know GDP. Yeah. Very few countries. I, I yeah. heard. Yeah. Yeah. Labor laws. Labor laws. Yeah. In 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 case of that kind of countries, I mean, you will have to change we it. Uh, the pay rate will change. Less, like minimum pay wage. That is wage like pay rate. Yeah. yeah. Pay wage yeah. and wage pay. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yes. Legal value yeah. for yeah. everything. Yeah. And that keeps changing, no? Yeah, that keeps changing. So that's based when on market, uh, based on the countries, I mean, what total GDP. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. And um, uh, so, yeah, this this is number of uh, you know options for a pay rate change. So here we gave event reasons derivative data model, right? So what are event reasons? We said we can only have six standard events. While we have only standard events, we may have different event reasons attached to the event. What are event reasons for higher water? What can be the event reasons? Selection. Selection. Uh, no, hire even yeah. reasons. Why do you hire? When the position is open, yeah, new position. Right. So, uh, when the position is open, new position. 
backfill when somebody resigns. Yes. Yeah. Right, ramp up. Mm -hmm. um, company in new location. Yeah. And they start day high, right? Yes. Yeah. And other thing is rehire. You can rehire also, right? Okay. Okay. So, uh, tell me what are the some examples of data changes? Designation change. We will say uh, title change. We can say promotion. Right, department or a BU, uh, BU change? Yeah, this is it. What at else time, you can run? At times location Sorry? also comes into picture. Uh, location, lo yeah, that can, we can, location you can take it in transfer also, but yeah, it doesn't hurt taking this event reason. So, okay, tell me what is termination? What are, what can be the event reasons for termination? Behavior issue. What do you call that? What do you call that? What do you call that behavioral issue? It's a uh, resignation. Uh, termination is, it can be voluntary, voluntary. It also can be involuntary. What uh, Vimala mentioned. Mm. Just a second, yeah. So uh, voluntary, uh, we have involuntary. Uh, so uh, resignation due to competition. Okay, what else? What else? Hotels, hotels, hotels. In India, most of the people, uh, you know, most of the public sector folks, uh, you know, generally choose this type of termination. What is that? It's like voluntary retirement. Mm, yeah, that we covered, voluntary. Ah, yeah. So what you said is retirement. Yeah. Okay, what else? It's like company getting closed or like the closure of the company. Uh, okay. So what do you call that? Layoff? Layoff, yeah. yeah layoff. Okay. What else? And uh, is it like a reduction of employees? Like, what do they call it? It happens that's in also India. Layoff. during recession days, too. Uh, that's also layoff. Okay. What else? What else? There is one, one reason. Very negative, though, but that's that's also termination like malpractice or company data that is that is uh, in, uh, involuntary it's like uh, it's like you know disclosing companies information or something mm, involuntary okay think this way 
when when the termination doesn't belong to all these categories layoff or retirement what else can be like black mark to the employee or mm mm-hmm. okay what is the ultimate this is this is uh, this is very rare to occur but it does occur it has to be one event reason okay they you can tell us like harassment or something okay it comes under uh, no don't you think uh, death Sadatya. Right, that's a that's one kind of termination, no? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that is, uh, you know, that is one. Uh, though I'm not mentioning it here, but that is one of the event reason. Right. So, these are the list of event reasons, and of course, many more. I mean, you just name it. Uh, Uh, in you name a event reason against that event, we can create that, and we'll we'll see how we create that in the system, right? Mm. Okay. Uh, for leave of absence, what what can be list of uh, your uh, you know event reasons? Mm, maternity. Yeah, you are sick. Very yeah yeah. Maternity yes. maternity your paternity uh child adoption um yeah what else uh planned uh, vacation planned leave or planned vacation okay i will say planned <clears throat> compensation mm-hmm. uh, we i mean like the work related injury or all of those mm, what do you call that yeah we can put as sick mm, what else so you take an off for a certain period of time for studies or for some other pursuing some other thing what do you call that as paid paid mm mm-hmm. what do you call that leave i mean i just forgot its name sabotry okay. sorry sabotry mm, something very similar to that okay oh okay maybe yeah i mean the standard um, sabbatical yeah yeah that's sabotry the same right what you mentioned yeah 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 there it is called as that sabbatical and then uh, do you have something like for log or something like that for log or something like that not sure so don't you have that i mean i think in our us office we have for log where mm-hmm. they close it during christmas they close it to compulsory yeah yeah uh, yeah 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 two uh, week um, for okay 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 so so that can be yeah, all your event reason so period changes can be uh you know promotion uh your uh, location change mm. right currency adjustments mm. local um something to related to gdp i'm just um, forgetting that word i'm not getting that word ah uh, okay local inflation right 
right and many more of course so yeah transfer can be department uh, location official employee initiated you know right company initiated employee initiated yeah. if company initiates the transfer the employee will get all the benefits like uh, you know moving uh, you know moving the family physically and also uh, moving the goods and all this stuff but if it is employee initiated transfer employee will not get that many benefits generally as per company's policies as per most uh, of the company's policies right so these are the event uh, reasons so these event reasons are modeled in this propagation rules data model sorry event reasons derivatives data model right so this is the event uh, event reasons data model and then workflow derivative data model so workflow um when do you need a workflow when there is some approval required or when there is some key activity uh, is getting done and then you need somebody's approval that's when uh, you create a workflow let's say for example when we're discussing about uh, leave of absence uh, you guys said maternity leave right so for maternity leave let's say immediate manager has to approve and then the department head has to approve and then the hr head has to approve that's the uh, that's the flow so we just have to create a workflow in such a way that first it will go to manager and then it will go to manager's manager sorry department head and then to the hr head so that workflow is defined in uh, you know workflow derivative data model in uh, success factors okay right and then the last one is hris um, synchronization so this is not a data model but this is just um you know we discussed just uh, along with the data model hri synchronization is nothing but this is a job run overnight to sync the employee data elements from employee central to employee central to all the other modules what we discussed here you know your onboarding pmgm succession compensation except for learning because for learning it completely works differently how the employee data is uh, sync from employee central to uh, you know learning it's also a job but it's not a hris sync job <laughs> it's a data field job okay okay so any uh, any questions uh, till now yeah um so all these uh, um, data models uh, comes i mean are common in success factors or only each module has their own data models uh no these are common uh, but um, wherever you require like for example in compensation you require uh, what what kind of data model you may require in compensation mm, uh, corporate right like your pay structure is coming there yeah corporate yeah so that kind of data models is uh, these are the list of data models common uh, but for individual data model that uh, individual module uh for succession and compensation only you need data models for others uh, of course learning works completely different for others uh, both the data models are required all four okay so in ec if you have to specifically say what are the data models in ec uh, no no we don't differentiate that way okay okay uh, in somebody asks data models in success factors you tell all this okay
right so <clears throat> we have the data models uh, we've seen data models and then we have seen uh, events also in uh, uh, in uh, success factors so let's uh, see um, something called um, ec implementation uh, process and uh, sequence so do you guys have some 20 minutes yeah yeah I... okay yeah let's uh, let's finish this so that we're we are almost uh, we'll be almost uh, you know done away with the uh, introduction and then we can start uh, uh you know seeing what the you know system is all about and talking about the foundation and all this stuff foundation objects and all right so ec implementation sequence ec implementation sequence is the one which is followed by the implementation consultant to implement employee central can you repeat again the ec implementation sequence is followed by the implementation partners what we have right success factors implementation partners who implemented at the beginning yeah okay. those partners will follow these list of steps to implement success factors in different organizations these are the step by step procedure to implement success factors okay the first step is creating a provisioning account so how do we create a provisioning account it's the license how do we create it send out an email to Asking got for the um, got got so, so first thing is to create a provisioning account okay and okay. after creating a provisioning account immediately what we do is create a super admin account so what do you do after that you create a super admin account once we create provisioning account, we'll create a super admin account, the implementation partners, right? After creating the super admin account, the next thing we do is configure or, or load the corporate data model. okay what is the corporate data model um, organization structure pay and job structures right so you yes. configure or load you don't this will be available in employee central provisioning you just have to download if there is any changes you have to make that and upload it even if there is no changes the standard way of doing it is just download it and upload the same if you don't have any changes are you with me yeah even if you don't have any changes you download it from provisioning and then re-upload it back that's the process to enable some features right okay. so the next one is configure load succession data model right the next one is configure slash load succession data model 
So succession data model, you know, right? Employ employment and personal information, right? Configure load country specific corporate data model. The next one is configure load country specific succession data model. Right, so the next most once the once we let the system know that these are the data models and these are the data elements we have. So then we should do something called as configure foundation objects. So what does the name foundation objects suggest? it like little literally is like the building objects like building blocks okay fine so building blocks you said right so what are building blocks for an organization yeah. what are building blocks for an organization so how an organization is defined tell me Uh, uh, strength of the company and the product of the company okay leave the product aside uh, mm -hmm. about the company think in those lines it like maybe from the beginning in the sense like it's basic in the sense it's the values of the company uh Okay, what are the identifiers? You leave values or don't go in literal terms for the organization. So how do you identify an organization? So what are all there in the organization? You can think in different angles like organization chart, organization, company. So connect these dots. the organization foundation objects is nothing but the ones which will help the organization to create the organization structure okay so which will help to create organization structure so every company yes, will the have, yeah the legal entity the, company uh, department division cost center right your uh, pay group pay calendar job classification so all these are foundation right to build an employee or a, to build a company you need all these data right so yeah. that is foundation objects foundation objects not only foundation objects you also have to create associations um, in the uh, foundation objects that I will, um, you know, show it to you how to, uh, you know, create. We can create it together after this, right? So, create foundation objects. Load propagation data model. We know what a propagation data model is, right? Yeah. Load configure even reason derivative data data model. The most important and the heart of employee central is role based permissions. We discussed about RBPs, right? In that sense, I mean, at a very high level, not at a working level. Didn't we discuss RBP? 
Okay. No Roll issues. If, permission. if we didn't. Role based permissions are the ones which defines what kind of employees are available in the company. Uh, sorry, what kind of roles should the employees have? For example, the HR department should have uh, uh, the roles, role accesses of all the department, uh, all the department where the HRBP is designated as HRBP, all that employees uh, accesses. And the HRBP should be able to uh, approve uh, the leave or the workflow, whichever is uh, assigned to the uh, respective employees. So that is uh, defined in role based permissions. Role based permissions are a group of people where the super admin will decide what all accesses should be given to this group. So that is role based permissions. Role based permissions are groups. First is groups. We create a group and then we assign a role to that group. After everything, what do you do? Importing data. What data you'll import? Importing data. What data you'll import? All the uh... It's simple. You created an account. You loaded the data models. You configured the foundation objects, right? You have configured event reasons. You configured role-based permissions. So, what data you'll import now? Um, uh, the department. I mean, uh, employee. Yeah, yeah. Basically, employee data. Yeah. You'll import the employee data, right? So, till now, there is no employee data in the system. Correct. Yeah, there's no employee data in the system, but you are now you'll import the data. Okay. And the last one is HRA synchronization. Once you upload the data, then you'll synchronize the data, right? So the last one is HRA synchronization. So with HRA synchronization uh, job the employment uh, the the success factors implementation partners job will end okay uh, let me quickly tell you what all where all these activities uh, are happening so creating a provisioning account of course is in uh, you know provisioning uh, creating a super ad, first super admin account is happening in provisioning and then it is happening uh, after that, you can create super admin accounts in instance. Instance means we know, right? This is the instance. Okay. Are yeah. you with me? Instance yeah. means this, where you are. Yeah. Uh, you know, you just go to admin center. This is this. All this is instance. Right, and then uh, yeah, all the configuration should be done in provisioning. 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 Sorry, configuration of foundation objects that is done in instance only. Instance. Okay, role based permissions, of course, an in instance. Importing data, yeah, of course, an in instance. HR synchronization, you can do it in instance. Okay. So these are the implementation steps involved 
while the partners are implementing success factors at your organizations any questions i'm good okay, okay. so